Okay, make a start. Uh, actually, I'm going to move this back a bit. It's really cold. I'm getting there. Have the side on my shoulder. Oh, okay. Just take it easy. Yeah, just take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if you need to sit down or do something different, feel free. Okay. Oh, I better start recording. Start recording. Oh, it is recording. Okay, that's cool. Right. Okay, so morning everybody. We we'll just start with swinging our arms. We're all really cold, so um, keep breathing. So have your hips sinking. So sink the hips back and down. Have the head floating up. Feel the ground under your feet. Relax the arms. Breathe in and breathe out, and then we're just gonna gonna do some of this. So we'll do a bit of a warm up, and then um, I'd quite like to look at some of the leg exercises. Um, so some new. So some leg exercises that I did on um, Wednesday. I did them yesterday morning. So watch the alignment of your knees. Make sure your knees are in line with the toes. That's it. So head floating. Hips sinking back and down. And we're all breathing. Very good. Gosh, it's cold, isn't it? A bit chilly today. So we're just turning to the corner. So you turn to one corner, turn to the other corner. That's it. And uh, we'll keep moving today because it's. They did put the heating on. Um, but there's a little bit of a bite to the air, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame they've not got the radiator this side or one over there. That would work better than they could heat the room up. But I might have to put my jumper back on. Anyway, so we'll just do a few more. I think everybody's got here. And then just very gently raise the arms. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Rub your hands together. And then tapping over cheeks. That's it. And then the sides of the head. And then the forehead start from the middle and go out to the sides. And then that one.
gently on the back of the leg. And let the arms relax. So just feel the arms nice and long. Have a little shake out of the arms. Oh, bounce the, have a bit of a bounce first. Okay, and then pick a shoulder. So make a fist and then tap the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down the inside of the arm and up the outside of the arm. So, on sort of cold, damp weather, it's quite nice to do something that will wake the body up a bit. Keep breathing. And other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down the inside of the arm. Up the outside of the arm. Sink the hips. Keep breathing. Very nice. Okay, either side of the spine in parallel lines radiating outwards. And then round the hips. Down the outsides of the legs. And up the inside of the legs. Okay, and then what we're going to do, um, you do the inside, on the top, outside, on the top. Okay, two. We do it five times. Three. Four. And five. And stop. Nice. That's good. Have another shape, and then just tap your tummy. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? And then the chest go across. One, two, three. And then the other side. One, two, three. And shake out. Okay, let's um, go back to the, the bounce. Just breathe gently, breathe gently, stay in the middle, relax the shoulders and keep breathing, very good. And then while bouncing, just go back to the, so this is one I did on Wednesday night. So you keep your knees aligned with the toes. So you should feel a bit warmer now. Yeah, brilliant. So, yeah, if you're feeling cold, move about a bit and then that'll help. And then hopefully we'll get nice and warm when we have our cup of tea. That'd be good, won't it? Keep breathing. Ah, oh, now, those of you that are here and also go to Leslie's class, I'd quite like it, if it's okay, if I could take some photos um, of Leslie's class and we can just, but if you don't want to be in the photo, keep out of it, yeah. Because I need... 
some pictures for the next um for a poster because they were a bit dark for pictures although it's quite dark in here isn't it but we'll see what we can do i, I need to get some new publicity out for the next year so okay shake up breathing in and out and then we'll do the shoulders one two three four five nice six seven and eight other direction one two three four five six seven and eight posture check sink the hips nice and relax really relax the arms relax the arms and then we do the other side one two three so just let your other arm hang four five six seven and eight other direction one two very good three yeah four five six seven and eight Bird folds its wings so rotate in the shoulder I'll show from the diagonal view and then rotate so open close Nice, relax the, the arms. Turn the palm out and we'll do peng, raise its wings. So we go forward, keep the arms stretch away from the side. We come up, come back and down. Forward, up, back, down. Nice. Forward, up, back. Down, forward, up, back, and down. Keep breathing, nice and relaxed. Feel the ground under the feet. And the other side. Keep breathing some more, very good. Whoa. <laughs> One more. Lovely. Okay, and then just stretch up, stretch down, just go over one. Very slow, come back to the middle, stretch up, sink your hips over. Down, up, over. Up. And then one more time each side. Fantastic. Okay, nice and relaxed. Have a little shake out. Very good. Uh, ha 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 ha. Yeah, hands on the hips, and then very slowly we go to the side, we go to the front, we go to the side, we go to the back. 
That's it. So you want to do like a circular movement. I'll show you from the side view. Keep breathing, soften the knees. Okay, other way, other direction. That's it, good, yeah. Back to the side, to the front, to the side. Two more. One more. Um, okay, transfer your weight from one foot to the other. Hang on, let me just do my shoelaces again. So get your feet, really get your feet with a good contact with the ground. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to transfer the weight 60%, 40%, 60%, 40%. Stay nice and upright. And we're just going to breathe for a bit. Just get the weight shifting from one foot to the other. So I got shown some very useful... Um, we were working on balance in yesterday morning's class, and um, it was so much fun that I went and did a bit of practice in between teaching classes uh, after I went, I went to see my teacher on Wednesday morning on Zoom, and we did we did some very useful exercises that work on balance. So we're just going to do this. So we're aiming our weight through the balance point of the foot, through the balance point of the foot. And you come back to the middle and then you sink back and sink forwards, nice and tall, breathing. You're just rocking forwards and rocking back. So you're just getting your... And then we combine forward and back with with right and left, and we get round and round. So we're going to go round and round. Sink the hips, soften the muscles, feel the ground under the feet. Breathing, so notice the breath as it comes in and as it comes out. Relax around the jaw. So it's almost as if you're allowing yourself to come into focus. Keep breathing and then go round and round in the other direction. That's it. Ball of the foot, ball of the foot, heel, heel. Ball of the foot, ball of the foot, heel, heel. Right, and then just allow yourself, so allow yourself to feel the feet. Now this time, transfer the weight, go into cat stance. So you bring the foot in very close for cat stance. That's it, and it's slightly in front. 
of the uh, toes. So you've got the toes of that foot, and then your toes of the pointing down foot are slightly in front. And then you transfer, uh, heel moves first, then you transfer the weight, and then you go to cat stomps. So it goes one, two, three. One, heel toe. So keep your weight in that leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. Sink your hips. So the hips are level. Arms are relaxed. Chin is tucked in. Heel, toe. Transfer. Cat stumps, hips level, heel toe. So, yeah, try. Um, we'll do that one in a minute. Cat stumps. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to do it three times. So it goes one, two, three, transfer cat stumps. One. Two, three, transfer cat stops. One, two, three, transfer cat stops. Once more, one, two, three. That's better, isn't it? Okay, have a little shake out. Uh, I'll just check on these again. Okay, so um, so I have ever spoke about the article that was in the Guardian newspaper about um, they did some science on people who either could stand on one leg for 10 seconds or couldn't stand on one leg for 10 seconds. And the ones what could stand on uh, the one leg for 10 seconds were healthier in general than the ones that couldn't. I mean, there's probably a lot more complicated reasons and stuff for that. But you know, and some people would never be able to stand on one leg because of how they're built. So one, one of my Tai Chi students, if she stood on one leg, she'd just fall over. In fact, even if she stands on two, she'll fall. So it it's not, it's best not to get too hung up on such uh, headlines. However, there's a very useful exercise that we did yesterday morning. So what you do is, and I'll get my, I'll get my phone, and what we do is we have a um, 30 seconds, a 30 second timer. And then what you do is you transfer your weight, you go into cat stance, so you feel your big toe on the ground. Now you want your hips level, and then you just very gently allow the float allow the foot to float on the ground, off the ground. And then we did that for 30 seconds, and then we did it the other side for 30 seconds. So you rest your toe and then you lift it up, but very it's only slightly off the ground. So you want to hang through the hips. And then we did it. Uh, we did two, we did a repeat. So let's for fun, give that a bash. So I'll put my timer here. I'll give us a few seconds in. I'll make oh. time at 35, just so we can get ourselves comfortable there and then do lift off and see how we get on. Right. This will be fun, won't it? Okay. So transfer your weight, go into cat stomachs. 
Make sure your hips are level, shoulders are level, and then very gently just have the foot floating on, almost touching the floor, not quite. So you want to be upright, and you're just, you're just doing that. And you want to... So you can put your foot down every now and then, that's allowed. And we'll just wait. And what I've found... Brilliant, that was it. That's one. Brilliant. So 30 seconds is a long time, isn't it? Right, let's do that the other side so it's not left out. But before we do it, let's give you some tips. Hips level, chin tucked in, head floating, hip sinking and level. And then just let the arms relax. You want to really relax all your muscles. And you want to have a bent, a slightly bent leg in the foot. So when you're standing on one leg, it's much easier and it takes longer to get the wibbly wobbies. If the leg's too high, that might not help. Have it quite low. If you don't want to stand on one leg, just go into cat stance and stand in cat stance for 20, uh, 30 seconds. That will work. That will work. So let's uh, start our time again. <laughs> Going to cat start, and then off we go. So, what the other leg bent, I want to sink the hips and let them through the spot. Yeah, that's the 30. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I'll turn that down again. So what, what we did, then we did it for another 30 seconds each, and it seemed to work a bit better the second time round. Uh, but because I'm going to get through these, we'll, we'll need that. So eventually what you do is you build up to being able to do that for one minute. And then, if that's not challenging enough for you, you try and do it for one minute with the eyes shut. Brilliant. So, but not yet. Not yet. So, what you might want to do is just try that. If you stand in cat stance, so your big toe is still on the floor, that will still work your balance. That will still work your balance. So, there we go. Okay, next. Yeah. So you go heel, toe, transfer the weight. Cat stance. That's it. I'll go a bit further back and then we can go heel, toe, transfer the weight. Cat stance. Heel, toe, transfer the weight. Cat stance. Heel, toe. Transfer the weight, cat starts. Two more, heel, toe, transfer the weight. Cat starts one more time, heel, toe, transfer the weight, cat starts. So you wanna be nice and tall, sink the hips, but imagine it's a low ceiling. Imagine it's a low ceiling. Now we step backwards. So we go toe, heel, transfer the weight. Cat stops. 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 Two more. One more. Okay, let's do that again. And backwards. 
Toe heel when you go backwards. Toe heel when you go backwards. Toe heel. So, okay, watch. Watch. Look at where my feet are going. So one thing um, about this whole balance issue is placing your feet in the optimum spots. So you don't fall over, you stay stable. You wanna place your feet in your stability spots. If you miss those, that's where you get the wibbly wobblies, okay? So, if you imagine some, I've got some tram lines there. Shoulder width tram lines. So, I go toe heel in some of the zigzag. Now, when I step back, when I step back, I stay upright. I stay upright. So, when you step back, stay upright. When you step back, stay upright. That is not upright. That is not upright. That is upright. Be able to distinguish between upright and not upright. Very important. So when you step back, you want to free up in that hip. The hip wants to go out and back, toe heel. Then you put your foot down and then you transfer the weight. You bring the foot in, you take the foot out, step, and like that. So you wanna stay upright. You wanna stay upright. When you step forward, it's heel toe. Heel toe, then you transfer your weight. Then you go into cat start. So you wanna be able to distinguish as to which bit you're on, and try not to do three things in one thing. So for example, that, you wanna do that. And then you go forward. So a good way into this is to do five times stepping. So um, demonstration, so it goes one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We won't do too many of these. They absolutely murder your legs. We did it for ages yesterday morning, and I was like, oh. But I felt really, for the whole day, I could feel my feet. I felt really balanced, actually. So a little bit of short-term uncomfortableness was well worth it for me feeling, oh, yeah, I'm really, you know, it's great. So um, we're going to do the five thing, but we're just going to do it twice on each leg, it really, you know, it's pretty full of them. So we start here and we go five times. One, two, that's it. Three, four, five. Transfer the weight. Cat stones. One, two, three, four, five. Transfer the weight. Okay, just two to go. One, two, three, four, five, transfer the weight. And one, two, three, four, five, transfer the weight. Brilliant. Okay. Then oh, backwards, it's the same. One, two, three. That's a bit harder. So you're going not just out, you want to go back as well. You want to go back as well. One, two, three, four, five, toe, heel, transfer the weight, cat stops. One, two, three, four, five, toe, heel, cat stop. That's plenty, isn't it? Okay. So the next one, and then we just do some basic stuff after that. The next one is walking like a cat. So you lift the knee, you place your foot, 
You lift the knee, you place your foot. Three, four. And then you go backwards. You lift the knee, you place your foot. You lift the knee, you place your foot. You lift the knee, place your foot. That's better. Lift the knee, place your foot. So you don't, again, you don't have to lift the knee too high. You can just do a small step and that's still walking like a cat. If your knee doesn't work that way, three, four, and then we go backwards, one, two, three, four. So if you watch how I lift the knee, I lift the knee like that, it's forwards. Then I step back. Or I lift the knee up, it's forwards, I step forwards. So if you're stepping back, the knee is still pointing forwards. Yeah, yeah that's better. Brilliant. Mer leg, leg murdering exercises. Okay, nice of a lapse. Let's do some of this. So. We'll just finish off with some cheek on. Yeah, it's worth it. Try them out at home. They're really, really good for... Um... So put the hips up and then turn the hands round, feel the hips sink down. So it's a really good idea to do things that encourage a good, stable base. Um, and relax, just have your hands out to the sides, have your hands out to the sides, and then we just go up and down. Up. And down. Nice. Open the palms. Up. And down. One more. That'll do because it's quite... This version's hard work, isn't it? And down, then let the arms relax. Now, I want everyone to concentrate on this next one, part in the class. So let the arms relax. Let the arms relax. Okay. And then... Breathe in, breathe out. I want everyone to concentrate on the clouds parting. That's it. Oh, that looks amazing. How are we doing? That's it. Beautiful, sunny day. Down. Breathing. Lovely. Go a little bit further back. One more time. Beautiful. Dragon plucks the stars from the sky. We come up. Down. Up. Down. Let the other arm go. Up. Down. Pull down. Relax the shoulders. Very nice. Come up. Down. Up. One more. <laughs> nice and relaxed. And we'll do one arm. Just come around and then the circle comes in at the bottom. Comes out at the top to transfer your weight, you sink the hips, sink the hips. 
save the hips, so turn the waist. Nice relax. So you should feel your feet a bit better. Keep breathing, very good. Okay, and now we go in the other arm. And then seamlessly, we get wave hands like claps. Wave hands like that. So you transfer and turn. Transfer and turn. Keep breathing, very nice, very good. And now, relax, place your foot forward, forwards and back. Pigeon spreads its wings, so you sink forwards, open, open the arms, that's it, and then sink back. Breathe in, I'll show from the diagonal, breathe in. Keep the arms in front, breathe out. Breathe in, so they just come forward, slightly out and up, breathe out. One more, and change. Let the arms hang by the sides. Fisherman cast the net, keep the arms very low. Forward and back. So you should be able to feel your feet a bit easier today. One more time, beautiful. Double hand push, sink back and down, sink forward and push up. Back. <clears throat> Last one, beautiful. Let's do that on the other side so we're not wonky before tea. So get your feet just so. So you're placing your feet and then we do pigeon spreads its wings. Not that I saw many birds this morning. I think they were all hiding, weren't they? From the wet. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Very graceful. Very graceful, everyone. Lovely. That's really good. Really good. Yeah. Very good on the Zoom. Very good. Fantastic. That's everybody. Change. Nice and relaxed. Keep the arms low and use your. That's it. Come forward and back. Keep breathing. One more time, lovely. And then double hand if we sink into the back leg, we'll show from the side, sink forward and up. Sink into the back leg, sink forward and up. Oh, we are getting perilously close to tea time. Yikes. Okay, um, come round in a circle. We mustn't be late for tea. Those of you on Zoom, or those of you that want to stay and do a bit of form work, we're going to look at the step back and repulse the monkey very, very gently. Um, but for those of you who want a tea break, we'd better close this part of the club. So that was some of Evelka Scuba's leg murdering exercises that are very good for balance. Very good for balance. So. Um, You'll be able to walk up those stairs now and feel your feet. So notice the contact with the feet. And we're all breathing. Very nice. 
and I'll come and join you later. Okay, nice relaxed. And then breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, so breathe out. And one more time, breathe in and out. Because what I'd like to do in this class is be able to do this one, just so you can see, um, hang on, yes, that exercise. which is a good one, but you need to have done your balance exercises before, because it's quite tricky, that one. That one. We'll have a look at that after, actually, because that's that would be good. Um, but the, that's a very good one. Um, it's a figure eight exercise with the arms, so that does the brain in. And then as well as doing the brain in, you have to sort of briefly stand on one leg and go forwards and back. But that's what we're working towards. That's my plan. Great. Okay, here we go. But yeah, being able to stand well on two legs is also very useful. Yeah. So don't knock that out either. Don't, you know, just think, right, I must be able to stand on one leg for five hours. No. To stand really well on two legs. Brilliant. Very good for balance. So it all works. It all works. <laughs> Okay, let's look super young. So rub the hands together. And polish the face. And then rub the hands together. I'll give you a lower back and lower. Oh, well, that's nice. And then we'll do three more and then we'll stop for water break and tea break. Excellent. Okay, so here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two. Lovely. And three. Just stand from a really on your face. So feel those feet on the ground. And then we're closing this part of the class. Well done, everyone. That was great. Right. We'll, we'll plug away with the balance. We'll get super balance for the rest of the year. Um, Amy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amy's there. She's oh, she's just disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there she is. Hello, yeah. Amy. Yeah. Okay, so that one I was just referring to. Um, so go to a bow and arrow stance. And what you do is you transfer your weight, you turn to the front corner, you transfer your weight, you turn to the front. So we might not get as far as step back of a post monkey because I got shown this exercise recently and it's brilliant for balance. It's brilliant for balance. So, and then what you do is you just go like that and then like that. Actually, I'll show you from the diagonal. So you turn, the hands come back. You turn, the hands come forward. Great. I'll see you at T. Turn, the hands come back. Turn, the hands come forward. Turn the hands come back. Turn the hands come forward. Turn the hands come back. Turn the hands come forward. Okay, now try that on the other side. Step back into Wu Chi. So you've got your parallel, and then we're going to. I might explore with the other camera again, like I did last week. Yeah. 
Okay, now this time, turn, let the hands come up and then palm out and down. Then you turn. Turn. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. Turn forward. Turn back. Turn forward. Turn back. Turn forward. One more time. Back. Right. Okay. Change sides. Um, I'm going to explore with the other camera and see if that's any better actually because it might be a bit clearer it might not i might be talking complete rubbish uh let's have a look oh oops sorry about this it's getting a bit wobbly See if that works. Yeah, that might be better. So now, like this, forwards and back. Show from the side. Yeah, then we can do a little bit of stepping. Forwards and back. That's wobbly. You'll just have to cope with me being a bit on an angle. Sorry about that. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay, now raise the heel. Raise the toes. Raise the heel. Come a bit closer. Raise the toes. Raise the heel. Raise the toes. Raise the heel. Raise the toes. And then bring the foot in. Bring the foot in. Bring the foot in. Bring the foot in. Seven and eight nice okay swap round that's good okay next time this time, instead of raising the heel, lift the knee. You come in, and then you lift the knee, and you come back. And you lift the knee, you come in. Um, I know this exercise as that figure eight exercise. That's not bad at all. So you want to keep your arms relaxed. Okay, now swap round again. So get yourself just so. You turn, and then as the arms come up, that's when you lift your knee. And then as you go down, as the arms come up, you lift your knee. Go down, as the arms come up, you lift your knee. Go down, arms come up. That's it. And keep... Breathing in and out, very good. Okay, and then what you can do is you can walk forwards and walk back, and then we'd better stop because they got to set up the wall for the next one. So, um, uh, hang on. 
I'm sure I put my brain in this morning. One, two, we'll find out. Forward, three. I did warn you, didn't I? Four. And then we go backwards. One, two, whoops, three, four. Brilliant. Uh, I'll try the other camera, see if that makes any more sense. It might not. Hang on. Let's just do that. Right, back here. I'll do it sideways. Very simple. You lift your leg. One. Two. How to walk to the post office. Three. Four. And then lift the other knee up and then go backwards. One. Two. Three. Keep breathing. Four. And then go forwards again. One more each side. One, two, whoopsie, three. It's hard, isn't it? Four. Lift the other leg up backwards. One, two, three, four. Wow. That was hard work, right? wasn't it? Okay. Let's, I think we should stop there. We'll, we'll look at step back. Oh, that was terrible. We'll look at Step Back and Repulse the Monkey the next week or something. Um, remember the week, the first one in December, I can't do because I'm in Glasgow freezing. So, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Breathe in, breathe out. So it's gone a bit wonky now. Sorry about that. So we're on next week, but the week after, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a video or something. I'm not sure what the Wi-Fi is like where I'm going. Nice and relaxed. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together and back. Brilliant. Well done. That was very fun. I thought we'd done all right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, good.